Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the macOS Sequoia Developer Beta onto your macOS device. Following this process will allow you to install the latest Developer Beta on your Mac, allowing you to try out new features from macOS Sequoia. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so recently at Apple's WWDC event for 2024, they announced updates to all of their platforms, including macOS, with the latest version being called macOS Sequoia. So today I'm going to show you how to install the developer beta onto your Mac. So what you'll need to do is if you haven't already signed up to the developer program, you'll need to go to developer.apple.com and just search that into your web browser. And what you want to do is, once you're on their website, scroll down and then under Apple's platforms, you can click on Mac OS. Once you're here, go up to the top and click Mac OS 15 Sequoia. Once you're on here, it will say get ready for Mac OS Sequoia. And what you'll want to do is click download. Once you're at the download page, it will ask you to sign into Apple Developer, so just do that now. Now, once you've signed into the developer site, you'll see the operating systems page. So what you want to do is scroll down. You'll see a lot of other betas here. But you want to scroll down until you see the macOS 15 beta. And it'll say for devices running macOS 13.4 Ventura or later, go to system settings, general software update, then beta updates and choose the developer beta to install this software. So once you have um, signed in or signed up to the Apple developer program like we've just done there, you are then ready to go to go into system settings and install uh, the developer beta as long as you're running macOS 13.4 Ventura or later. So what you'll need to do now is go into system settings and we'll go to general, then software update. And then what you want to do is go over to beta updates. So under automatic updates, it will say beta updates. If this isn't showing up, make sure you are signed in with the Apple ID that you just signed up to the developer account with. So make sure they're the same Apple ID, otherwise this won't show up and that you have need to have signed up first. Uh, and then next to beta updates, you'll need to click the little eye for information. And then when you're in this page, you'll see the beta update option and you're going to click where it says off into the drop down, And then what you want to choose is macOS Sequoia developer beta. You also see there's options for Sonoma, but what you want for this video is macOS Sequoia developer beta. If the option you are looking for is not showing up, you can just click the button under Apple ID that says use a different Apple ID for beta updates. That's if the Apple ID you've signed up for on developer.apple.com or beta.apple.com is different to the Apple ID that is signed in on your Mac. So you can do that if the option you are looking for is not showing up and then just click done. Once you click done, you'll then see it will check for updates again and then it should find the macOS Sequoia developer beta as an update. So we'll just give it a moment here. And while that loads, if you are interested in the beta update, so not the developer, but the beta options, um, you can see here that it's uh, come up here, macOS 15 beta. And it says macOS beta gives you an early preview of upcoming apps, features, and technologies. Please back up your Mac before you install the beta. And then you can visit their sites here for more information. Um, but if you are only interested in the beta program, what you can do is go into a new tab and go to beta.apple.com and search that up. And then it will bring you to Apple Beta. And then what you can do here, you can do the same thing. You can either click sign up or sign in, uh, depending on if you are a member or not. Um, you can then sign in. And because I signed into the developer account before, it's gone straight in, but it will usually ask for your Mac ID. Uh, Apple ID, sorry. And then it will come in here, guide for beta software. You just want Mac OS. And then once you have signed into the beta account, you can just click enroll your Mac and it will tell you to back it up. And then you just want to do the same process that I just showed you where in system settings, you go to the information and then select the public beta option. So that's if you don't want the developer beta, you want the public beta. 
Um, the public beta isn't out just yet as of the time of recording this video, but it should be out within the next week or so, I would imagine. Um, it's usually two weeks after the developer beta is released, so it'll come out with developer beta 2 most likely. So that's how you do it for the beta version, and then I've also shown you how to do it for the developers as well. And you can see that it's shown up here, and it's come in at quite a large 14.76 gigabytes. That's on my M1 Mac Mini. Um, obviously, it has to reinstall the entire operating system because it's going from a public release to a beta, so that's expected that it will be a large file size. Now, what I would definitely suggest doing is you would need to take a backup before installing this. This is um, beta software. It can be unstable, especially considering this is the first one, developer beta one. Definitely would recommend taking a backup um, in case something goes wrong and you need to restore the system or um, anything like that, you need to revert back to Sonoma, definitely take a backup. And I also would advise against installing this on your main Mac. If you've got a secondary Mac or an old one lying around, sure, go ahead, but definitely wouldn't recommend doing this on your main device. It's also worth noting that Apple intelligence features are not out yet. So if you're installing this because you want to try those out, um, as of the time of recording this video, they are not out currently. So um, just be aware of that. And you also do need an M series Mac or later. And um, you can also see if you need to download the restore image, you can see here Mac computers with Apple Silicon, you can click it there and it will uh, download the restore image for them. And if we just have a look at what Mac support, um, Mac OS Sequoia, scroll to the bottom here, you'll see iMac 2019 and later, Mac Studio 2022, Mac Mini 2018 and later, Mac Pro 2019 and later, iMac Pro 2017 and later, MacBook Air 2020 and later, and MacBook Pro 2018 and later. So they are all the supported devices for macOS Sequoia. And once again, as I said, if you've got an M1 Mac or later, you can run the Apple Intelligence features when they are out later this year. Now, if you want to take a backup of your Mac, um, all you need to do is go back to general, then go to time machine, and then you can add a backup disk and back it up like that. That's probably the best and easiest way to do it. So yeah, that's all there is to downloading and installing the macOS Sequoia beta on your Mac. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in installing this developer beta. And let me know in the comments below if there's any particular videos you would like to see about it. Uh, whether that's new features or how to install some of the other betas such as watchOS 11 or tvOS 18. Um, I have made a video on how to install the iOS 18 developer beta as well as the iPadOS 18 developer beta. So I'll leave that linked up in the cards and in the description below if you'd like to check that out. But yeah, if you'd like to see any new features on any of the platforms or just any videos in general, just let me know in the comments below because I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them. And with that, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.